It's um, not a street machine, mean machine, whatever, whatever that one with the bike was called. I can't remember. It's not it's Dempsey and Makepeace. No, it's not. Uh, it's not Auto Man. It's not Cagney and Lacey. Excuse me. You didn't. You didn't get Cagney and Lacey. No. Cagney and Lacey had the best theme song ever. Have they? Yeah. Well, why didn't you choose that then? Because it's. Because <laughs> <laughs> the best theme song. Because I wasn't thinking about Cagney and Lacey when we started. Uh-huh. I was thinking. That was a mistake. I was thinking A team when we started. A team. Yeah, A team, not A team, like the number A A team. You know oh. the A team? No. Uh, Hannibal, Murdoch, uh, Mr. T, and you're uh, not talking about supervillains. Face. You're talking about supervillains. The four guys in the van. <laughs> Who uh, uh, are they super Long, villains? Wrongly imprisoned and promptly escaped to the Los Angeles underground. If you can find them, then maybe you can hire the A team. And then there were like the sound of bullets and. That sound like a television something. Dun, 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 dun. Oh God. No. 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 That's, that's, oh. Oh Look gosh. at the window, it's dark. <laughs> Look at the window I said. <laughs> Look, there's nothing. I'm so happy that we have wind O's. It looks like we're in the middle of space. It's like <laughs> it does. It like we're the house, a spaceship. The house is flying in space like in the Zathura movie. Yeah. It <laughs> Don't open the door. It's Turn the fire off. Oh, not even what do you uh, do with the fire it's <laughs> what what do you do with the fire um uh, well in this house you turn them on and turn them off because <laughs> so because electrical. this house is not normal <laughs> right it because they're gas or electric and click both the are button and turn the, ti- turn the tire the tire turn the fire on what <laughs> <laughs> start the car turn on the tires yes <laughs> off we go <laughs> yeah. yeah what do you do with the fire you light it well, no, the other thing, the the other way around. You put it out. Oh, put it out, yes. Yes. Put out all the fires. Because we might get discovered by those aliens. <coughs> what are they called? <laughs> the, the Zorg or something? <laughs> I don't know, aliens always have that weird abrupt name like Zorg or Borg or Forg or... Something else ending with Org. <laughs> <laughs> Dot Perhaps. Org. Perhaps. Perhaps it does the um, the distant lights of the next village. I can't see any are, distant uh, lights from here. Are I like can stars. Just, I can just see blackness. Yep. I was thinking that oh, I'll get to see the sun come up because it's not even six yet. But um, not on this side. What? Not on this side. What? Six on your side? Do you see the sun come up? You don't see the sun come up on this side. You see the sun no. come up on the other side of yeah. the house. You see the cows come out on this side. <laughs> Get to watch the cows. If it's light. Those are the world's largest cows, I'm quite sure. I okay. know. I think the world's largest everything is in Scotland. I mean, I mean, You've got the, the cows look big from here. <laughs> we're like not even close to them. You can you imagine standing next to one They're of them? bigger than horses. <laughs> they are. Insane. They are. They're huge. And then I don't know what they're feeding them. Maybe they're feeding the dolphins to them or something. Oh, God. The, you mean the world's biggest dolphins? I know. <laughs> <laughs> they actually really have the world's biggest dolphins here. People, people, come they to they Scotland. Do fat, fat is a brand. <laughs> they have they have the world's biggest dolphins here. It's not brand. You can't have a brand of dolphins. <laughs> no, no, no brand. Is that not the collective name? No. <laughs> like a pack of wolves. A brand of dolphins. No, a no. brand of dolphins. It's a pod, don't you know? 
What? Pod. I thought Apple had the trademark for that. What? Like iPod. Oh, no, no. Stuff no, like no, that. No. no. A pod of dolphins. I think so. No? That's ridiculous. Why? Because nobody, nobody groups anything in pods. Except for dolphins. Except for peas. Peas in a pod. That's true. There are peas in a pod. Peas in a pod and dolphins in a pod. I mean, there's no, <laughs> there's no fucking connection there. <laughs> Can you imagine a pea pod with dolphins sticking out of it? A what? <laughs> Just a pea pod. Can I? You're asking me to imagine a pod <laughs> of peas with, <laughs> with with dolphins hanging out of them. That, yeah. That's just weird. That's <laughs> that's very weird. Almost as weird as the three dolphins my mother has on the wall. Mm. Look around this room. What? Look, look around this room. It, this, this is a look how bizarre it is. Well, explain where we are. <laughs> We're in a kids' room because <laughs> the kids are in our bed. But we can't record in our bed because because there's kids and they're sleeping. So we're in the kids' room where I've slept for the last three nights. Because yeah. <laughs> s- the girls always decide to sleep with daddy. Um, <coughs> yeah, that's because daddy's cool and uh, the yeah. girls want to sleep there. And um, as long as Jazz is mm-hmm. on her side and Zora is in the middle and I'm on my side, it's okay. But when jazz is in the middle, it's like a roller coaster kick fest or something. I don't know. It's it's <laughs> it. You, you have to hang on to the bed. You have to grip Aww. onto it so you don't get kicked out. Jazz is great. I just don't like it when she decides that the duvets are for suckers and she pushes it down to where our feet are, mm. and, and you ca- and you can't pull it back up, and you're freezing cold. And every time you pull it up, she goes bonkers. <laughs> Bonkers. Yeah, that's not yeah. fun. <laughs> no, no, I agree. I agree. But then, then again, I do get to lie in a bed with a pile of rocks, which have been removed from the beach and placed in the bed. I love it how they always a bring the rocks from the beach. A uh, let me lean over here. Uh, part of a vacuum cleaner. Mm-hmm. Uh, a what looks like a hanger. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's a cross between a. A hanger for clothes and a wooden spoon, and when it's got vicious hooks at either end, it's obviously some kind of medieval skirts. weapon. I think you can hang a like what? four skirts on the hooks because skirts have little loop de loops on each side. Oh, you like a? K- <laughs> it could be for kilts, no? You can, it could be for kilts. If I you can imagine kilts. it being for kilts. I remember my my kilt. Kilts, I don't so have one now, for but skirts. I did in the past. Mm. Um, so, but it could actually double as a wooden spoon for stirring your porridge if you. Uh, uh, yeah, it could. You it would scratch your. Uh, or a bolt machine gun, perhaps, if you're being creative. And a, a large hammer. So, yeah. a pile of stones, a bit of vacuum cleaner, a strange <laughs> hanger, and a large hammer. Yeah. Please. <laughs> In the bed. <laughs> oh, oh. This, this room is really bizarre because it has a light hanging out of the ceiling, you, right? You have to talk. I have to blow my nose. I am talking. <laughs> if you didn't stop me, I would still be talking. No, I'm just, I'm just saying <laughs> yeah. So, so this room, this room has a um, a lamp which is hanging out of the ceiling, but it's not in the middle of the ceiling like like any other boring lamp, right? But it's in the corner, because that's where you want your lamp to be in the corner of the room. Oh, that lamp! Not that lamp. That lamp up there. That one. This house, <coughs> I'm back. It's just bizarre. This and then they. And this they house has more lamps than than a street. This 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 it's weird. It's got a million lamps. There's more lamps than a. Well, how many the lamps the in this the room? Light bulb There's shop. four lamps in this room. <laughs> more lights than a lighthouse. Including the the one hanging out of the corner. A lighthouse only has one. Anyway. Yeah. Nobody ever uses that lamp either. I well mean, the it's there's just there's four space. lamps in our room. Yeah, there's four. I think there's at least no, four there's five. lamps in each. No, there's five. I'm just thinking. There's actually five. There's five lamps. Well, look at living room, right? Well, you have to. There's a. No, there's another one. Wait. One. There's four. Two. Why well, you told you there's four lamps? You don't have to count them. I wasn't listening. Uh, typical. Because uh, because my nose was running, so <laughs> I was trying to <laughs> blow it. Where was it running to? It was. Um, Did you have to catch it? Uh, um, no, 
No, it 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 was a biological thing, right? Oh, right. There we go. Yeah, I mean, Do look at the living room. You've got in the living room, you've got one, two, three, four, five lamps. What's that kind of fish life? It's a bit crazy, really. It is. And then people worry about turning off the lights. Yeah, when you've got five lamps you've in every lamps freaking in room. room. <laughs> and then when you turn the main light on, it doesn't come on for about two minutes because it's <laughs> yeah. it's the snow it's light. Yeah. Is, there there is, is, so is there anything annoying. more annoying than turning on the light and nothing happening? Oh, that is so annoying. I don't think I know anything more annoying than that. That is literally the annoying thing of the year. Anyway. I'm all for saving energy, but if you turn the light on, I think you do that because you would like the light to come on. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's basically how it goes. Check out, check out that stuff on the wall there, the uh, on the on the wardrobe. What <laughs> the? It's what called the? creature height chart. What the hell's that? I just think it's really funny because it sounds like like we call our kids creatures. <laughs> It doesn't. It doesn't it's just like a height chart for our creatures. You didn't put that up there. Sorry, you I did. did. Oh. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Still funny. <laughs> no, it's from those. Um, it's from those. What are they called? The the, the nature magazines for kids. What are they called? Oh, I forgot. Um, National Geographic. Oh, okay. Kids. Okay. Yeah. It's got all all different heights of animals, and and you can find out how tall you are. Like like Jasmine's as tall as a baby elephant, for example. And Zora's as tall as a water buffalo. That's really useful. I know. I know. Not. <laughs> I think it's nice. It's interesting. I remember I downloaded all the National Geographics for kids into a into my tablet, and Will read them in like twenty four hours. <laughs> I that remember. I was that downloaded? I, th I thought that there was like an app or a... No, no, I downloaded them. Or a website or something. No. Or you can see all of them in the... No. No? No. Okay. I had to go and look for them and find them. Oh. On the net. On the... Uh, on the uh, apparently you've got the net. Uh -huh. The deep net and the dark net. <laughs> deep dark net. And I don't know where I was, but I was... Somewhere where National Geographic didn't want me to be, obviously. <laughs> Oops. Um, <laughs> there, there you go. Oh God. There you go. But it's it's dark outside, and um, I was thinking that oh, we get to see the. I don't know how to describe it. I was going to say reverse sunrise. But that would be sun. Well, that sunset. <laughs> that would be sunset. <laughs> so that's not right. Expecting to. Um See sunset at six o'clock in the morning. Expecting to see something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. Ra rather than just just <laughs> nothingness. Blackness. There should be a hill and sky and fields and. I just I just imagine the house like spinning in a vacuum of universe, just like what out of control. You know, what you don't know that it's spinning because we're in a universe. But what have you been smoking? I'm just I'm just up. What? I'm just up. What <laughs> <laughs> happens to me in the morning? Good I imagine weird things. Good morning. Good do you do you morning, have your coffee? Good morning. Da, 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 da. I've got my coffee. Yes. It's nice. Good. The toast was a was an extra, but um, you're probably not going to eat it. I don't really want anything else than coffee early in the morning. Sometimes I do, but not very often. Sometimes I don't even want coffee, but today is not one of those days. I need to work for crying out loud. Have you got any idea how much work I have for this um, weekend? Yes, you've got double the amount of uh, work that that you... I was going to say that you thought you were going to have, but you thought there was going to be nothing at one point, so that would yeah. make sense, because double yeah. nothing is still nothing. Yeah, but, uh, exactly. We've um, doubled. But you've now got... <laughs> Uh, the, uh, um, I don't even know how to describe it. You've got two assignments. There you go. Well, when I was taking the first assignment, uh, it was like three days ago, I thought, okay, I'm going to have a week. 
because it was three days ago, right? <laughs> or, yeah, I think it was three. And then it didn't get confirmed until last night. So I spent two days just twiddling my thumbs. <laughs> and, uh, and then there was a second assignment. And I thought, okay, the first is not obviously happening because nothing's been happening for two days. So I took the other one. And then the first time, the first one came back and said, Yay, we're on, you can start. <laughs> and when I was taking it, and I thought that I was going to have a week to do it, I thought, oh, that's going to be rough. I don't know if I'm going to make it in a week. <laughs> so you can wow. imagine. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fun this weekend. It's going to be fun. Uh, and not. <laughs> I wish that picture of Jesus was over here. That the, picture of Jesus. Yeah, that's over there. And yeah, there's a picture of Jesus in front of the mirror. That's really strange because your parents are not religious, like, at all. Well, the only reason that's here is because I said that I wanted it. Because my parents were going to throw it away. Uh-huh. Which, which is surprising because my parents never throw anything away. But that's not quite true. They only throw away things of value. Where did you get a picture of Jesus from that you decided that you want to keep? When I was a kid... It was by the bed that I slept in, in my grandmother's house. Ah. <coughs> and when I went to bed, uh, when we visited her, I would always uh, play it. Mm -hmm. I would <laughs> it was like the special thing was I would get to listen to it once before I, Aww. before I had to go to sleep in a little cold room with a tiny window. Oh, that's so nice. And, uh, and uh, I'm quite, um, what's the word? Attached to it? Yeah, I was going to say I'm quite affectionate, but no, no, <laughs> that's, no. <laughs> that's not what I want. No, no you're not, actually. <laughs> I'm not affectionate to it. Um, no. <laughs> I'm quite attached to it and the little, little tune and melody it. that it plays. Uh-huh. I uh, I find it quite. Uh, it's it's haunting. those it's those special grandma things, right? I had a special grandma thing as well. I used <laughs> to. <laughs> <grandma>. <laughs> we used my to special go to grandma. My gra and it's really it's really weird because my grandma died when I was about five, right? But I still remember that special thing because I think that my granddad had it on the dresser for, f like, like forever. Right, I don't know. Maybe it was like to remember his wife by or something. But uh, my grandma had <laughs> one of those. Cause she, cause you don't want to forget. She had one of those old perfume bottles. I don't know if you if you've seen the or if your grandma had it or whatever. It was like a bottle, and then it had like a, oh, what you got? It's not a pipe. What you call it? <laughs> <Like a> hose. <laughs> What so she was smoking her perfume? <laughs> no, it had like a little rubber pipe kind of thing coming out of it, and then it had the sprayer at the end. You know, it's like an what? old style perfume bottle. Oh, is that like 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 a dropper pipe thing pipe that sucks thing. in the perfume, and then you you it's you, like you, a you yeah, it's like a little oh, thing like you, at you the spray end it that, you, that you, you spray, spray it with. Yourself. Yeah, it's like a little bal air balloon or something that you use for spraying it. I d I can't ex remember exactly, but I remember the smell. And I remember that I used to go there and I used to kind of spray it a little and smell the smell. And, and uh, that's what I remember. The yeah, because kids, kids, kids love to touch things and play with things, right? Yeah, it's the sensitive things, you yeah. see. I mean, you remember the music that you played and I remember the smell and the touch of that thing. It's funny how things remember things. <coughs> kids remember things. It's funny that you should call it music. I never I've never thought of it as music before. It is music, but I've it never thought music, of it like yeah. that before. It's the it's the it's the it's the sensory uh would you would you how do you just say the vnim? Um, perception. Yeah. Yeah exactly. That it gets stuck in your brain, isn't it? Yeah. Sense sensory memory. And the yeah and and you kinda remember it all that the the cold room, the bedroom was always cold, wasn't it? It was always still, cold. Still, still is, <laughs> as, far, as far as I can work out. It's funny because now Will's, Will's grandmother's bedroom is always cold as well. <laughs> you know? Yeah, because they leave the window open when it's, when it's minus whatever. Yeah. It's like, it's funny. It's funny. My parents' bedroom always used to be And then they complain about having to cold. warm the house when they leave the windows open. That bothers me. 
Anyway, yeah. I used to love bedrooms when I was a kid. So weird. It's more of a toy shop than a bedroom, this place. Well, this one's not a bedroom. This is more like a, like a nursery thing. But oh, yeah. I mean, get, I adult bedrooms. Yeah. I used to love my, my granddad's bedroom and I used to love my parents' bedroom as well because it was always light, airy, cold, and very, very tidy. <laughs> it was like the calm down place. It was like when I needed to calm down, I would go to my parents' bedroom, close the door, and just sit on the bed. Your parents' bedroom or your grandparents' parents, bedroom? Parents, parents' bedroom was tidy. I've switched to my bed, to my parents' bedroom. Yeah. That's interesting. So yeah, I used to like that as a kid. I like this Olaf um, duvet. Who? What was that? I don't know. What <coughs> have we done? Oh, it's just it's, it's, the, it's rocks. the rocks from the beach. You're rocking the bed. Um, the rocks are moving. <laughs> I love it how kids collect rocks. It is is that a regular thing? It's the sensory thing again. It's just because rocks feel nice in your hand because they're heavy and cold and round and smooth. Well, the beach rocks, not just yeah. like kind of random volcanic rocks or well, they do they did used to rocks they, they did used to pick up random rocks as well in Slovakia, but they wouldn't take them home. The beach rocks are worthy taking home. <laughs> Because they're Ooh. smooth, nice. Mm, they'd be worthy of uh, a trip to the uh, wherever. You just have to pocket. love rocks. It's a bit like it's a bit like those ball pools. <laughs> what? The kiddie pools full of balls. You know what, what? I mean? No. The little, what? the little, with the, with the little. Oh, in the play, play, in. play areas. And yeah, stuff where yeah. They the the beach, the beach is like a big ball pool. <laughs> You've got a lot of balls to play with. I guess it is. I guess it is, you can kind yeah. of jump into the rocks and they kind of slide down the beach. Yeah, you can throw them around. Because it's, cause it's, it's all rocky. It's really cool though. It's like a... Yeah, a beach is really cool. <laughs> the beach is cool. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> it is. I did say that the other day, didn't I? You, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I used the wrong um, E <laughs> in the word. E. Yeah. Um, there are so many nice beaches along the coast here. Mm -hmm. There are. It's uh, it's quite incredible, and they're almost all secret. Are like they? Like nobody knows about them at all. Only you. Um, <laughs> well, like the local people know, but the local people don't. Something? Local people don't really go to the beach unless it's to uh, walk their dog, uh. or um, or do the paddle surfing. Because the waves are not big enough for the real surfing. Or what they are big enough for real surfing, but it's too dangerous. The paddle boarding is, is, is cool, though, no? I mean, I would do that. I once tried windsurfing. Uh -huh. But it wasn't windy enough. <laughs> there was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's always windy enough. <laughs> and it wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was. If you live in Scotland, you get it. Well, it... it we just considering there was a giant storm last night, um, <laughs> um, I kind of think it's always windy here. No, it's a good place to do windsurfing, except that I couldn't windsurf. And strangely enough, you, uh, now that I remember it, you were actually right. There wasn't any wind that day. So it was quite difficult. And I spent most of the time in the water trying to climb on to the windsurfing board. And, and I couldn't, because it's actually not that easy. I felt that maybe the wind w would have been too strong or something for it. Here is it does get strong. like that sometimes. Yeah. Yes. It's well, like yesterday, like yesterday Jasmine was here in her bed, and then she came into our bed because she was scared because the wind outside was making noises. It was. It was whistling. Fair enough. It was. I wanted to uh, do the uh, business podcast yesterday evening, but, but you couldn't. Because I couldn't because the wind, the wind was, was whistling too much, which is the most ridiculous <laughs> problem ever. <laughs> it was whistling. It was whistling. Yeah. Mm, mm. And moaning and making weird noises. Yeah, I wanted to segue to something there and I've completely forgotten what it was. What were we talking about before? You don't have a segue about beaches. The beaches. beaches. The beaches and then windsurfing. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Crazy activities. Like I was learning yesterday about the rough camping. Like these groups of people that do. And another one was... Uh, 
I think it's... What, what do you call that thing when you run down a hill with a parachute and take off into the sky? Is that paragliding? I think so, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's paragliding. They do it They do it regularly uh, in Horny Nati village. Oh, they do it all around Slovakia, wherever there's yeah. half a hill. There's yeah, exactly. Running down it with a parachute. Oh, they used to run down the hill. We they're, we've they're watched all completely them. insane. We used uh, to watch uh, them. We, I, would, I would go up the hill and, and you would get a... You would see a group of people with parachutes just just taking off one by one. Yeah, and you just wait for the ambulance to arrive. No, you don't. It's really cool. I I was always looking at it and I was always thinking, wow, I want to do that. <laughs> yeah, like when you're twenty, you want to do everything, but when you're old fart like you are, <laughs> when you're when you're forty, you sort of think the. It's maybe not such a good idea because the you could fall the risk the, the risk level increases. No, and I, I would still I would still like to do it. I mean, we've got things that are safe, and you've got things that are unsafe. And well, you know, I almost I almost died up. doing that once. So did, did you? Uh, How did you almost die? Well, you uh, almost what would you call died. it when you do it behind a boat? Is that parasailing as well? I don't know like when the boat called. goes and it and it pulls you and you got the parachute behind you and you go up into the air. You know oh. what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, I know, I know what you're talking is that, about. Did is you that do that as well? I did that, and one of the clips wasn't connected properly, <laughs> and so I was uh, like a I don't know how high in the air it is. I mean, it feels higher than it is, so it's probably like about 50 meters up in the air. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the clips just wasn't connected properly, and I ended up hanging upside down. <laughs> and the guy who was you know, the guy who was like um, piloting the boat mm -hmm. turned around, looked up, and you know it was massive. I, I remember seeing his face; it was like a massive shocked look on his face. He hit the brake on the boat, yeah, mm -hmm. and I just went fifty meters straight down to oh. the water. What an idiot! Um, and uh, I thought I was going to die, actually, because you go under the water, and then you're like, "What the fuck next?" Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was wearing the life jacket, so you know, obviously I popped up. But you kind of have to be lucky because first I was lucky I didn't hit the boat when I fell. Um, second, I was lucky I wasn't injured when I hit the water because you hit the water really hard. And uh, I was also lucky that I wasn't tangled in the chute as well when I came back up. Well, he was so obviously an idiot. I mean, first of all, he didn't clip you in properly. And second mm. of all, you can't just stop and let the person fall, right? But well then, third of all, you couldn't have just fell straight down if you had a bloody parachute. Obviously, you would have been slowed down by the parachute, right? You'd be, like, plummeting down. Actually, you go down much faster than you would think you go down. Yeah, I can imagine that you but do. But, it wasn't fast, but, but because I wasn't connected properly to the parachute, if everything's balanced, mm -hmm. you, you sort of float down quickly, right? Mm -hmm. But if it's not, you just you just go straight because the parachute's not catching on the air properly. Well, at least at least at properly. least you were upside down, so you could have just you know go like that. <laughs> oh, very fucking funny, <laughs> very fucking funny. As if you've got any time to know what the hell's happening, oh. right? I don't know. I wasn't in that situation, so. It's just you basically just fall out of the sky. Mhm. Mm um, and. Uh, so that that was my wonderful experience. And oh, uh, well, that was unlucky. And uh, <laughs> you don't blame you for not wanting to repeat that again. <laughs> actually, actually, when we, like they they pulled, they rescued me and pulled me back out onto the back out back up onto the. Talking boat. about dangerous things. Do you remember that place where we went rock, not rock climbing, what? wall climbing? Indoor. Yeah. Somebody died. Yeah. What? Are you fucking? You, you fucking kidding me? Yeah. What? Yeah. The indoor place where what? we were climbing in Bistrica, yeah? Yeah, 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 I remember that. It was, like, it was like, I'm going to take you to a special place where we're going to learn to trust each other and, and have well fun. I, and did, I didn't say trust each other. I didn't actually realize that it was going to be a trust exercise because I thought that we were going to have a professional person making sure we don't die, but we no. ended up having each other making sure we it's don't die. It's not the one where Zora went straight anyway. up to the top and <coughs> shot the brick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it's 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 pretty safe as long as <coughs> as long as you. Well, it's no different road, from any other right? climbing walls, as far as I can yeah. work out. But the person who died. What they the died? They yes, actually died there. They actually there. died there. Yeah. Uh, what happened? Because you saw that you know you had the amateurs that were clipped to the ropes. There were like five, six ropes hanging out the ceiling, and the amateurs would be clipped to the ropes and then climbing up, right? 
And then you had the half pros yeah. who wouldn't be clipped. But they were clipping themselves. So you had they had like had a rope, right? That was the next level. And they would climb a little bit and then hook the rope and then climb another little bit and then hook the rope and then climb another little bit and then hook the rope. So, obvi so obviously they unhooked before they hooked. Yeah. Which is stupid. Uh, no, no, they didn't because you, you just... Uh, the do you not have, do you not, do, do you not, do you not have two hooks and the you, you? I don't know exactly. You, you, you're, you're always supposed to be connected. As far as I'm aware, you're always supposed to be connected, yes, right? To the lower one, yeah. Yeah. So the, so the you're so that there's always a connection. No, always. I don't know what they did, but I remember. I remember when we were there. I remember seeing guys that were like hanging off the wall, just just sitting there, just just not not looking very safe, right? And I'm saying sitting there because it looked like as if they were sitting, but they were kind of hanging off the wall, obviously. Uh, so, so one of these half bros obviously just climbed up all the way up top, which was about five meters, wasn't it? It's was at least five. It was probably more. Wait, wait, wait! No, no! Stop! 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 And stop! They stop! Fell off stop! The top. Stop! Mm -hmm. The ceiling here in this room mm -hmm. is about four meters. Is it? Yeah. I thought I thought it was about three. No, the ceiling here is about four meters. Okay. Is it? Are you sure? Oh, it can't okay. be four meters because okay, that door uh, is about two. Okay, okay, okay. Let right. me, let me. Okay, maybe, maybe you're right. I'd say three twenty. Okay, okay, I, I, okay. So, I exaggerated a little bit, but the point I want to make is those climbing walls were, you said five meters. I'm talking okay, about maybe there. Ten or something. I 15? Maximum 15. Maximum. Uh, between 10 and 15, definitely. It was pretty fucking high, right? Yeah. So somebody climbed all the way to the top and fell down. And Just died. And died, yeah. Well, if you fall off like 10 meters high, or, or, or 12 or 15 or whatever it was, onto the hard, bloody floor, it's not too hard to die, right? I mean, you just break your neck. That's horrible. Yeah, no, I know. Oh my god! It is pretty horrible, isn't it? Why are we talking about it? Because <laughs> you're talking about dangerous sports. Yeah, um, because I said paragliding, or parasailing. Is it parasailing? Parasailing. When you're, when you're yeah. behind the boat, I think yeah. that's what it's called. Anyway, my point was that anything where you don't get clipped on properly can be dangerous. That was my point. You know. I well mean, anything these can these be dangerous. Driving a car can be dangerous. These Driving things a can bike happen. Can be dangerous. It's, it's, you know, you can have safe parasailing if you've got somebody who knows how to do it, and you can have dangerous parasailing if you've got an idiot who's not going to clip you in properly. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. accidents happen. Like stupid, stupid stuff happens, right? Bridges yeah. collapse. Um, People fall off walls. Yeah, rockets blow up. Yeah, exactly. So. Um, you never know. You, I, I, I guess, I guess some of that's true. Um, anyway, I don't know why I wanted to talk about that. I don't know why I wanted to talk about the, the strange water activities. Um, because you were talking about those people who run down the hill and take off. Oh, and the, and the uh, paddle boarding, is it? Is that what it's yeah. called? Yeah. That's a, that's a pretty cool activity to do. It is. It looks kind of safe and... Kind of. Hell, <laughs> no, with balance and exercise. And yeah, yeah. And uh, it does. All of those little elements together, relatively inexpensive once you have the equipment. Yeah. Hey, it's gonna be Zora's birthday, uh, on Thursday. Oh yeah. What are Zora. we doing? Little Zora is turning six on Thursday. I don't know. I think we should go to the play bar. And She's I think big that's now. I think that's kind of expected, you know. Yeah. I think we should go to the play barn. We went to the play barn for Will, so we should do the same for Zora and have pancakes. <laughs> we can't have pancakes full of sugar. Pancakes. Uh. Okay. Do we have to do the the uh, golf club quiz thing next weekend? Oh, as well? yes. <laughs> France. Oh, France. Yes, we do. Oh, fudge. Uh, Fook, uh -huh. uh, as the Slovaks say. Yeah. Yes, exactly. 
That yeah. Would be, that'll be fun. That will. We need guidance. I need to know what rounds we need to prepare. The what uh, do you mean, what rounds? Well, there are ten rounds, and they're all different. In you don't. That's everybody makes up the rounds. No, they usually Sandy have this. Sandy didn't even have rounds. Sandy didn't. Say Sandy had like one round at the beginning on the First World War, and that was it. And the rest was just random shit thrown together. Yeah, but he can do that because he's done hundreds of them, so he has respect. Oh, we can make it up. We don't need. We didn't need guidance about what. No, rounds no, we it need. has to be done properly. Yes, but I'm not gonna go and ask somebody. Hey, listen, what rounds should we have? Well, no, I'm. I'm That's ridiculous. But there's usually a round that. Like there's a permanent round where you, you hand out these questions that people have to constantly try to find the answer to. Yes, or you can do picture round like that. Yes. Right. Like um, um The famous statues. Name name the horses or Yeah. Exactly. Or uh s sea plants or um uh or some things. Um uh, spot, spot the uh, <laughs> sp spot Wally. Sp spot the dog. Um. <laughs> find Wally. You should have found find Wally round. <laughs> uh, that would kind of be funny. You would. Um. Famous Scottish people. You've done it. That's good. That's good. We we do need a photocopy of a where's Wally page. <laughs> you can't. You can't do that. We can have that as a bonus. That'd be ridiculous. No, it wouldn't. Because everybody would be equal. And no, because nobody well, would everybody need any is equal. Nobody, yeah, no, it's because some people have special knowledge in certain areas. Right? Mm -hmm. Flora, fauna, history, geography. Um, well, we need to have a sports round, and we need to have art. a cooking round, and we need to have a... A cooking round? History round, and we need to have a... Yes. And we need to have a, a geography round, and uh, we need to have a random shit thrown together round. I'll be good at that one. Uh, we need to have a <laughs> music, ridiculous music. Scottish television show round. <laughs> can we have a musical round? Yes, we can have a musical round. Where, where I would like prepare bits of songs. Oh my God. God, you're not making it hard for yourself at all, are you? It would be pretty cool, though. But, uh, no, it wouldn't. Be, it wouldn't be that difficult. I could just like put the stuff on my phone and and just uh, oh. <coughs> and just play a bit of a s bit of a song, and people would have to uh, guess what the song is. <sighs> oh well. We could have famous first lines. I was, I was st stuck there thinking about songs. Sorry. We could have like famous first lines of novels. Round. Oh, that's good. The clock struck thirteen. What was that one? Call me Ishmael. <laughs> Is that um, Moby Dick? Yes. Ooh. Yes. Clocks it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. A tale of, uh, <laughs> a tale of two villages. The tale of Garmouth and Kingston. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. A fishing story. A what? <laughs> that, that would be the subtitle of the tale of two villages. Would be a fishing story. Oh God. Or or something like that. They don't do fishing here anymore, though. Yes, they do. Do they? There are people on the beach fishing. Well, sometimes. There are people on the a river little, a fishing. A little bit. It's expensive. But they do it. It's expensive in Slovakia as well. Why is, like why is it so expensive? You pay to a fish? lot of you pay a lot of money for doing fuck all. Why is it <laughs> paying money to stand in a river is uh, is just bizarre? Because you're taking what's the queen's? You're taking the queen's fishes. Um. Well, no, you might just be hungry, right? You might mm. be uh, fishing for your supper, for example. Yes. But you're still taking the Queen's fishes. It's not the Queen's fishes, it's everybody's fishes. Oh, so you think? What? I'm sure the Queen has a different opinion on I'm that. I'm sure the fish don't think they're the Queen's fishes. <laughs> they don't even know who the Queen is. Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, the freedom. Freedom! Yeah. 
The is fish it, are free. Is it freedom though? What? Just because you don't know that you have a queen doesn't mean you don't have it. <laughs> That's some weird kind of psychology there. Just because you know that you... Just cause you what? <laughs> How just does because it work? Just because you don't know that you have a queen doesn't mean that you don't have it. That's why I said. I can't even twist my head around that. Don't. I don't. can't. It's okay. I'll, I'll remind you later in the afternoon. Maybe you'll be able to understand. <coughs> I'm going to the gym today. Maybe. Gym. For the first time, maybe. Was I was just thinking. Uh, you know, I've got the little form. And I was just thinking, I'm going to have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. I hope they take cards because I don't have any cash. <laughs> the library, the library doesn't take anything because the people there um, are, are really not prepared. And you're for supposed the to, and, at all. and the paper says you're supposed to pay direct debit. What? <laughs> Whatever that means, I don't know. What well, direct means. debit means you give them your account details, and, and they, they take it out. They scoop the money out of your account. Yeah. On a monthly basis. Yeah, but you can you can cancel any time though. So. Yeah, th why why does that strike fear into me? The fact that that you would give someone your account details, allow them to take money out of your account, and just th the idea that you would cancel it, but they would continue to take the money out. That that would happen in Slovakia, but I don't think that would happen here. because yeah. people, because if it happens here, people raise hell. You know, and then you have to pay like twice as much to the people who raise hell. Yeah, I, I was learning yesterday how strict the providers of internet services are about the rules and regulations. I mean, we we know that they've been over-regulated to, to a certain extent, but mm -hmm. uh, the level to which they, they execute, it's like, uh, it, it, brings, it brings a new meaning to the term frenemy. Basically, where uh, where you, you want to work with them, but uh, you really strictly and uh -huh. stringently have to be extremely careful about uh, all of the information and well all of the data. The, that's the thing. One wrong word, one wrong word in a podcast uh -huh. can have your podcast completely removed. All of your podcasts completely removed from the internet. One wrong word. And it's a lot of it's. Auto that's why I'm surprised my podcasts are still up there. Um. You're not important, you see. Oh well, yeah. Well, yeah. Just anything irrelevant, not important, and uninfluential is allowed to uh, when you have, when flow you have freely. <laughs> when you have more than a hundred thousand listeners, then maybe people will start paying attention to your words <laughs> and decide to remove you. But not before then. You're not. I think they even, they even limit it before that because they allow the flow of certain um, pieces of information and. In general, people give the same feedback that in general it's it's less intellectual content that gets more views, mm -hmm. and and that kind of surprises me because I I actually have a faith and trust in humanity that uh, that the intellect will prevail. Yeah. However, the well, what makes you what makes you have that faith and trust? Um, because the alternative is unacceptable. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> I mean, the, the, the alter alternative <coughs> is an unlivable experience. And uh, well, you so mean you mean what you're living right now? <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't live in a world where intellect prevails. Well, it's it's crazy. I mean, you a picture of a dog sniffing a flower gets like five thousand views, whereas uh, the picture of the flower itself gets like one. So um, that that's a, s a strange element of. Of of humanity. We need more dogs. Oh, well, here was a st great story from yesterday, right? Yes. From uh, the conference, um, mm -hmm. that uh, the largest amount of view people were talking about the largest numbers of views of um, videos that they put on Facebook had, yeah. And this guy was saying that he had like ten thousand views of his live video of. Whiskey and donuts. Seriously. Live video of whiskey and donuts. What were they doing? Were they like dancing? Were they like the donuts were dancing with the whiskey or something? 
No, no, they were drinking whiskey and well, eating donut. donuts. Oh, okay. I don't know quite how a donut dances, but um, <laughs> they don't appear <laughs> to do that in, in my world. Okay. And, uh, That's sad. Yeah, I, I know, it was crazy. And there, was, there were other people talking about more no, 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 educational I mean it's, it's stuff. It's sad that donuts don't dance. No, no, it's <laughs> logical that donuts don't dance because <laughs> they don't have arms, legs, and they're not really... Yeah, no. <laughs> It'd be really funny if they did. Um, although I can't stop, I because my brain is um, a bit weird. I can't stop thinking about having a donut and putting a shot glass in the middle, because <laughs> it would fit in that little hole. So I just got this this strange vision of shot glasses in donuts. That's okay. I've got a strange vision of a donut standing on its edge and dancing, waving little arms and legs around. So. Yeah, that's just my weird. vision is just a bit weirder than yours. <laughs> Although yours is not bad either. I guarantee you, if you put into uh, Google or YouTube dancing donuts, somebody somebody's you, already done it. Yep, if you can think of it, someone's uh, someone's already entirely explored <laughs> Bet you that. They've avenue. got a lot of views as well. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you they have. I yeah. bet you they have. Anyway, that that was just. Uh, I was talking to the guy, and I was like, so, like this. Did this got the more more views than anything else? He's he's like, yeah, it was just weird. He said Americans loved it. They loved they loved. There's actually a market for donuts and whiskey. How about whiskey donuts? Well, like donuts flavored like whiskey. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have it in Scotland. How about donut whiskey? Everything flavored like whiskey in Scotland. You can get freaking window curtains flavored like whiskey in Scotland. Yeah, but that would require that people lick or chew on <laughs> their curtains, <laughs> okay. which, yeah, which, w which some people might think of as normal, but uh, no, not me. No, no, not me either. It's uh, surprisingly warm in this bed, considering that. You sound uh, like you have a cold. I've got a cold this morning. Do you, do you need to blow your nose? I I have blown, blah 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 blow uh, blow. Uh, as as you said that, my nose is blocked up there. Oh, it's been uh, blocked because I've got this thing. I've got this radar, right? Radar. This thing my, where my nose, my nose is blocked this morning. That's that's it, and the result is the more Scottish accent. You know, like when you when you've got because all Scottish people sound, sound like they have blocked sound noses. Almost French. Uh, you know, like allez, you've allez. got some things that drive oui, you crazy, right? Mm? You've got you do do you have do you have anything that drives you crazy like that that you're completely allergic to? My mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, my thing, <laughs> my thing is people talking with stuffed noses. It's like, it's like I've been sitting here for the last five minutes and I was trying not to focus on the fact that your nose is blocked, but it's driving me nuts. Do you want me to blow my nose? That w that would be really really helpful. <laughs> oh, you just talk about something <laughs> randomly. And I'll take off the okay, I don't know, I don't know why I have these things, but I I'm, I'm seriously, it's like when Will's got his nose blocked in the morning. Eating his breakfast, it can just drive me nuts. I can just be, I can just be, it's, I can be extremely unpleasant when somebody's got a stuffed nose, especially when it's. Don't go away. Just blow your bloody schnuffle. Is there a word such as schnuffle? I think it's just. The world's larger and louder. It's just authentic. It voluminous. Oh God. <laughs> I think it's authentic. I think that's great. You don't want to. Uh, what? Be authentic. Like it's better. It's better to have a podcast with somebody blowing their nose than to have a podcast with somebody with stuffed nose talking. And then. And then somebody being abruptly killed by their partner. Because uh, yeah. that, that could happen if, if you continue It's going to get blocked up again. I don't know why it's blocked up. It's, it's one of those morning things. <coughs> it might be because that's like minus 20 in this house. <laughs> it's actually quite warm yesterday because we had visitors. Well, the fat visitors warmed up the house with the presents. <laughs> yes. You were right, though. That, that woman looked like a man. Oh, I guess you do when you get to that point. I guess I'm going to as well. 
I went to when I finally went to say hello to them, mm -hmm. and they were um, odd. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that they were odd. Um, the guy couldn't stand up. Did you know? Did he? Does he have a physical problem or something? He couldn't stand up. Well, I haven't noticed. Maybe he just drank too much because he's been I drinking know. whiskey with your dad. <laughs> fuck me, it's dangerous because your dad can drink like a lot of whiskey. Uh, well, he drinks a bottle of whiskey at night, so yeah. I mean, <laughs> he he could the the arm. My my dad could destroy an army. Yeah, I know. And himself at the same time. So so that's probably what happened. Your dad probably destroyed him because they started on quite early as well. He couldn't get up. He couldn't stand up. Uh -huh. And then when he did stand up, he almost fell over. Well, um, yeah. So that that's like, oh, a lot. why my mother would want me to meet somebody who can't stand up and is ready to fall over. It's, it's beyond me. Um, I guess she just thought it would be polite. Social graces are odd, anyway. Um, look, I'm all for kind of politeness, but as you once clearly said to me, and uh, I think it was a very valid point that I hadn't thought about before, and I like it. Um, they are her friends mm -hmm. or her family. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it's, it's it's as as she would say, it's got bugger all to do with me, Murray. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it does. So um, that would be like me forcing her to meet my friends, which I wouldn't do because that just sounds bizarre to me. Yeah. So what is what is the psychology of, of forcing people to meet other people that... You know what it reminded oh, me of? What is that It about? reminded me of when I was a kid and... And my mother, there's, there's a nice word for it in Slovak, right? And the word goes, she would come to me and she would say, Pochta ukazać. Come to be seen. Yes, come show yourself. <laughs> show yourself. Come, and yourself. come and show yourself, yes. And I always felt when I was a kid, you know, sh she, would, she would like bring her adult friends and to the kitchen or whatever they would have the meet up and... She would just open the door and she would say, "Put some gazat," and I came and I felt like an idiot because I would be like standing in the middle of the kitchen and everybody would be looking at Put me. Put a nice dress on. Everybody would be oh, saying, she's so sweet. "Oh my gosh, you've grown so much! Oh wow, look at that! Oh, oh, and so how are you doing?" That's so condescending. And yeah, it's so condescending to treat children like that. And. It's like, you know, when you've got when you've got little children, you make them do little tricks like sing a song or or say a rhyme. It's like right? having a fucking That's dog. It's like a or freaking something. trained dog, yeah. And then when they're a bit too older, a bit too older, a bit older, they won't go with that anymore. So they just go show yourself, you know. <laughs> Come show yourself. And you greet everyone and you're supposed to say hello, hello, how are you? Okay, fine. Yes, I've grown. Okay, goodbye. It's and like then go back to your room, right? <laughs> S and 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 I always felt like okay, so the parents are getting a kick out of it because they come and show their masterpiece child, right? <laughs> come, come and look at my parents. I mean, you'd never and do now that I see around. it from a different perspective, right? I see it from the perspective of a mother. So, so if I had my friends coming over, like if I had Monica or Nina or whoever coming over, uh <laughs> you actually have a friend. Whose name sounds like the noise an ambulance makes. Uh, yes. <laughs> 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 I would be happy for them to see my kids because because I, I, they like me and and they want to know what's going on in my life and then what to just want to see my kids and I think that's cool you know I'm like look this is my kid and they'd be like yay I love your kid and and you know it's 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 just the kid is part of you it's part of your family so when you when your friends are interested in you they're interested in your kids as well, they're interested in your husband, they're interested in your house or whatever else, everything, right? Mm -hmm. In your life. So I can understand it from this point of view, but as a kid, to come and show yourself was just, I just I didn't feel right. It just didn't feel right, you know? I mean, I would well, always... Well, it's not organic, that's why. Yeah. I feel, and I felt embarrassed. It was like that kind of embarrassing moment, like when, like when you've got, uh, it's similar, like when when at Easter people come and 
and uh, we're supposed to smack your ass. That's quite embarrassing as well. Uh, you know what I mean? The, tr- the Easter Easter traditions in Slovakia. It's just the nice traditions. Yeah, that's just the. Uh, it's just oh, one of those things. I hated it as a kid. You know, I would I would organically go and uh, because I was curious because I was a kid, so I wanted to see the visitors. So at some point, I would always go in and just pretend that I was going to get a drink <laughs> if I hasn't been summoned before to come and show myself because I wanted to see who's there and what they're doing, right? So that would have happened anyway, even without being summoned. Well, so. part of the... Um, part of the want... Part of uh, other people's want to have visitors here is to show off the grandchildren. Yes, that as well, huh? Yeah. I've uh, noticed that with my mum, too, yeah. And uh, I don't like it because I I don't think the children are sort of fully aware of the situation, and not that they could be or would be or or should be, but I d- it just feels wrong. <laughs> do I don't that. think that you know kids are the kids are really young and they really l- enjoy the uh, presence of of other adults and and any age group really, so. I don't think it's too bad for them. I mean, they're they they just love to uh, look at jazz. Jasmine just loves to hang around with other adults, right? Mm-hmm. So I don't think it's too bad as 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 long as it's not uh, disturbing them in any way. You know, nobody's forcing them to be somewhere or whatever. So yeah. I guess that's all right. But um, I I don't know. There seems to be too too many. Social elements are. I love it when I love it. Forced. I love it when Bob gets embarrassed by Will. That's so funny. <laughs> it's like when Will starts talking and he talks too oh, much. Oh, it's like when people say, "Oh, and he disturbs everybody." He, that's be you know why that is. That's because in in other, they say social situations or other families, people would say, um, "Don't talk back to your parents." Mm, that's well, but and and p- the kids would internalize it and they'd never say what they feel. The kids are not, the, the thing is that the kids are not equal partners in discussion elsewhere. You know, they're supposed to answer questions when asked, and they're supposed mm-hmm. to shut up and let adults talk. But Will is brought up to be an equal equal partner in discussion, so he doesn't know that he should shut up and let adults talk, right? That's he because it's wrong to shut up and let the adults yes, talk, because he thinks you, your opinion is important. That's, that's what I mean, he thinks and feels. Like, what he has to say is interesting and important, and he feels he has every right to say it. And I think that's great. <laughs> Even though in some situations it might not be, you know, interesting to others, but but it's organic, right? And if it's not interesting to others, they can always turn around and say, excuse me, well, we were in the middle of talking about something else, and we would like to continue in that topic, right? And that's fine, because he has to learn that there are rules to conversations, right? But uh, I just think it's so cool that he's not too shy to do that or that he doesn't feel like he shouldn't do that because, you know, when we grew up as kids, we knew that we should shut up and let adults talk. <laughs> so, so yeah, but then it, most matter. of the adults don't have anything substantial to say as um, I've, I've, I've even realized over the last week with the uh, conferences and meetings that that a lot of people who are talking are not saying anything of any substance or or relevance and uh, part part of my recognition of this is I like to take notes when people are talking right mm-hmm. and I'm I'm pretty sure that of the couple of hundred people who were at the conference there were about five people taking notes right mm-hmm. And uh, fair enough, I get the point of, okay, I'm going to sit down and focus and listen to what that person is saying. I'm going to give them my attention. Mm-hmm. I get it, but I'm I'm damn sure that these people are not going to remember much in about two or three days. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Mm-hmm. And so if you don't have a set of notes mm-hmm. to refer to, and, you know, some, some conferences are cool. You know, they send out the slides afterwards and no one looks at them, but they send them out anyway. Mm-hmm. Um um, so I, I take notes and then go back and look at my notes because that 
helps me realize because I took the notes and I went back and looked at half my notes yesterday and I was like I don't even know what this means that I wrote down but I know it must have been important so mm -hmm. so um, so I always need to think more about this this point and there were some people who were talking like for half an hour and I would sit there like I'm gonna like I'm gonna make a note of the important ready <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm sitting I'm sitting there like ready to be be taught right mm -hmm. and there was nothing to jot down absolutely <laughs> 20, 30 minutes of someone talking and there was absolutely nothing of subs of applicable substance, which is what you want from a presentation. <laughs> you want someone to give you something mm -hmm. that you can use in yeah, some way. That you feel is important, yeah. Yeah, some, some, something, that, something that you can take away and apply or, or think about, how can I apply this in my... My, my my daily experience, my life, my business, my whatever, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, my whatever, yeah, yeah, um, maybe 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 family, maybe through friends, maybe uh, maybe in uh, business deals, maybe in searching for clients, maybe in uh, you know the systems of how you work. You want something that that's applicable. Yeah, yeah. And here here's um, two other revelations. Number one, if you're going to talk about yourself, don't talk about your business. Okay. <laughs> because it's okay to talk about yourself if you've had an interesting experience. Number two, the presentation format has now altered. Yes, how? Now, the, um, the classical traditional presentation mm -hmm. of, okay, let's have this speaker to talk about this topic in front of this group of people. Mm -hmm. That's actually dead, but people don't know it yet. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what I mean by that is that it has already been replaced by the conversational interview format. Stop playing with your phone. Okay. The conversational interview format, yeah? Mm -hmm. What's stop, that? Stop playing with your phone. I'm trying to turn it off. Or you okay. just stop freaking out. It's just, it's just, it's, it's, it, it's just it's extremely bothering. Okay. Um, <coughs> so, click. Right. I need so something to fidget with. So, um, uh, there's a big hammer on the bed over here. Big plastic hammer. If I fidget with that, you'll be dead. Clunk. Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. Um, Conversational interview. Yeah, yeah. D this you shouldn't. You should never have one person standing in front of a group of people with a microphone. Yeah. What you should have is a slightly raised stage podium with a couple of seats on the stage. Uh, the ideal format, two people, and one person interviewing the other person about the topic to get more information. So you've got the dialogue and conversational situation, which allows more, more flow and more specific depth and allows the hopefully educated um, uh, the presenter, interviewer, to get the data from the person that the audience requires, understanding what the audience needs needs are, and getting and extracting that information from the person. That is the format that that should be applied, not this standing in front of people talking, because that's so non-dynamic. Uh, well, that depends more dramatic on who's structure. doing it. Gee. Sorry, that depends on who's doing it. I've had lectures which are so boring. They were like what what my friend calls Zaklina <laughs> Jado, a <So>. sneak charmer. <laughs> this with, with this one, they're so boring that that people in the in the audience are like blank stares and and you know <laughs> just 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 vacant nothing. Uh, and then there are people who are dynamic and on the stage and 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 who can. You can make things interesting. So I don't think that that format is dead. You know, I think that there are people who can make that format extremely interesting. I mean, look at, look at, uh, I thought, for example, Alfie Kohn's presentations were interesting. You know, he was one of those people who can, who can make it interesting. I mean, look at all the TED Talks, right? Most of which are boring. They're not. They are. Well, I don't know about most. I only see the ones that are not boring, right? So well, that I, which I is which is you. less than zero point zero one percent of the TED talks. So but you can't comment. Yes, but that uh, that that just proves my point. 
it just proves my it point. Doesn't it doesn't prove your not, point. It, it, no, it proves my a, point no, because you you haven't got any information about what you it's haven't seen. Not about. You don't know what you don't know. It's not about the format. It's about the presenter. Of course, of course, that a dialogue format is interesting. Yes, I agree. It's, it's it's not it's it is totally about the presenter. I've seen presentations in a dialogue format that were good, and I've seen presentations in a dialogue format that were extremely boring. You know, I mean, you can have a both. Yeah, ways. yeah, it's boring if you've got people who don't know what they're doing, because their job is to make it interesting. So well, there I mean you go. I mean, you can you can both of the formats can be boring, and both of the cor formats can be extremely captivating. It depends on who's doing it. So I don't think yeah. that that format is dead, or you shouldn't have it. I just think you should know what you're doing. I feel from the events that I've visited that all of the events would benefit from that kind of format mm. because it's more relaxing, I think, when it's done that way and also there's less pressure on the speaker and I know that all speakers feel some level of pressure mm -hmm. yeah and there's much less pressure when you're sitting down with someone whose job it is does that make sense whose job it is to encourage you to speak can't say that well yes sense. I can imagine that it's less less demanding when you've got someone actually interviewing you yeah and that element of you can relax a little bit more because you know there's someone there to help you mm -hmm. allows the content to be richer. You think? Because there's less focus on delivery and presentation and more focus on on <coughs> value of information. Well, if you're professional, I, I, don't, I don't think that it really makes that much difference uh, when it comes to the content. I mean, you're going to well, deliver the content anyway. But. Um... I understand what you mean. It's slightly more entertaining when yeah. you've got two people talking. Yeah, absolutely. Absol it, it, it's not just slightly more. The dynamic is massive. The, the difference is massive. I mean, consider any simple you know, podcast format, interview format, right, with two people talking. It's in 99% of cases, it's so much better than one. I mean, you get those people who are naturally good talkers, but that's not the majority of people. And I think everybody has something of value to deliver. Mm. And it's the job and responsibility of the event and the organizers of the event to ensure that that person is allowed in the best and simplest way possible to deliver that value. And that is not done by sticking a person on a stage with a microphone in front of a large group of people. Because there's a, because in my experience of these events, the person coming to speak doesn't know the audience so well, right? Mm -hmm. But the organizer of the event knows the audience well. So it's the organizer's job to mediate between those two and uh, ensure that the right information is extracted from the presenter that will be valuable from the audience because a lot of the, um, some of the audience will want some specific things and the, you know, the interviewer's job is to get that information out of the people. And if you don't know exactly who your audience is, it's really difficult to tailor your presentation to their needs because cause, cause each audience is slightly different. Well, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be uh, a solution to this problem to just tell the presenter who he's presenting to? I mean, the organizer of the event can contact the presenter before he does his presentation and say, hey, look, you're going to be talking in front of a group of oh, no, no, businessmen and they will want to know this information and uh, it would be cool if you could just put it into your presentation. You know, keep keep in mind that they need this information for practical reasons because they want to know how to run their businesses. And just give him the information. You don't, you don't need an interviewer to extract if you give the presenter the information in the first place. Oh, let's just assume that happens automatically, right? I mean, I'm assuming all those things are you know, done by intelligent people automatically. Well, then the presenter knows who he's presenting to. And he knows what to put in the presentation. And then usually... But, but don't you, want, don't you want to make it better? And then usually, no, like the second no half of the presentations is always questions and no, answers. No, so no, no, no. So See, we don't live in that ask. perfect world. Yeah, don't that does... No, well, no, should. it doesn't... <sighs> Yeah, that's not how it works, though. 
because life is life and events are far more complex than than anybody would have anybody believe that actually it actually doesn't work that way it doesn't work that way because um basically events run over time uh question and answers are rushed sessions 99% of the time mm -hmm. if they're done at all and Ted there's none right so um yeah. it it I, think I agree that it should be like that but because it never works like that you can't you can't depend on it there's there's another thing there's this uh oh, I can see a cow <laughs> 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 oh look, we're, it's it's it, it's sort of transition from 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 complete blackness to then dark colors and outlines of trees. And it's really it. spooky because that cow is just a black blur moving really slowly across the field. And if you didn't know it was a cow, you could think that it's some kind of it's like, like bear, like vacuum entity from outer space just moving across the field. Oh my fucking! It's another one. What? <laughs> it's another one. Look, it's oh. huge. Looks like That's it's what I'm saying. The, 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 the cows. The, the There's another one again. Look, look, look at that. Massive. Oh, black. They've got these massive black. Those are miles. Sheep. They're miles away and they're still huge. I swear they're bigger than horses. Freaking. It looks like they're going to jump over the your mother's wall and into they're, the garden. They're bigger than the hay bales that are out there. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> No. I was look, I was no. looking at the one in the field that's way over there. There's it's one. An invasion! I told you, I told you yeah. they look like they're gonna just like walk walk across the fence there and just <laughs> jump over the wall. I'm, I'm, I'm waving at them. They're massive. <laughs> there's three. It's there's like three it's like a, it's like a cavalry. train. Yeah, there's three massive ones, and then there's like three smaller ones. Because they're further back. Oh, I can't. I can't see. You can see but oh, I can, I they can they see just that. walked yeah. into sort of my frame of view. Uh -huh. There, but um. Yeah, I forgot what I wanted to say about the presentation. Oh yeah, the 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 thing about the they're interview huge. is. I can't. I can't get past the fact that they're so big. And but I've you can't. You can't really prepare for an interview when you're a uh, when you're the interviewee, right? I mean, you can <laughs> prepare for a presentation, and write it down, and everything. But how do you prepare for an interview without having the questions? You know what if. You don't. You don't. You c you can't. You can't prepare for it as well as you can for a presentation. Yeah. Well, That's some people also. Some people are naturally good talkers, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. They just they have the experience and they talk, 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 talk. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that their content is the value that the audience needs. Like um, one of the presenters at the conference yesterday was. Um, the the guy who organized uh, Edinburgh's uh, New Year festival celebrations mm -hmm. and many other big events uh, nationwide and <laughs> um, he was talking about his experiences and the the projects and things that he did and how one thing transitioned to another and another mm -hmm. and it was a really interesting story. Um, end, <laughs> end of story, right? Mm. Right. It was a really interesting story, and then the story ended. And then the question is, what value can you take from that that you can apply in your business? Um, little, li little or nothing. An odd statement here and there, like um, you know, avoid tr TripAdvisor because it's completely. Um, uh, I, what's, what's the word? I don't want to say it. not irrelevant, not false. It's just inaccurate would be the best description. The trip, trip advisor, the, the industry, the industry insiders' opinion is that trip advisor is the last place to go if you want information, and yet it's constantly promoted as the best place to go if you want accurate information about about where a person. Uh, I don't know what trip advisor is. Oh, it's like the world's largest forum for advice about where to go and where to stay and what mm. to do. But it's, it's been. There was also an article about a month ago about how um, all the big companies have bought all the reviews. And mm. um, well, naturally, right? I mean, mm. d d you know, you pay yeah. people to go and write glowing reviews of your hotel or your um, small resort or whatever. It, it, whatever it is, it's it's sad. Um, but 
that's the that's the way that it's gone. And uh, there's a there are very few people being openly honest about the bad services or things that are not right that uh, or or ways to improve things. What's Me your point? I forget what your point was. Talking about presenters, we're talking about presenters and styles of presentations. And yes. my point was that the uh, just because you have someone who's up on stage and fluent and talking and engaging, it doesn't mean that the content is going to be valuable Obviously, yeah. for for people. And that it's the job of the organizers of the event, not just to put the people on the stage, not just to bring people to people. Mm. It's It's to extract the right level of content. Okay. The same way that uh, you know a a manager and a coach in say like a like a football team, it's their job to get specific skills and actions from specific players at specific points in time, not just to say go out and play football, right? And so the, the manager of the event has the same level of responsibility in in what it is that they do. And I think that most events need. A, a mediator, and by mediator, what I mean is somebody whose job it is to specifically get the the important content from the uh, from the knowledge source, the person to, uh, to to the public and the audience that are there, and that's what's missing what's the a plan? lot of the time. What's the plan today? I'm going to change the topic completely because I'm getting bored to death. I bored you. Yeah, it's just, this is why I'm not a business coach because this thing's just so boring for me. I just turned on the business, the business brain, you and just did. switched off. Yeah, exactly. Listen, uh, <laughs> what is interesting? <laughs> you went back to sleep. You just went back to sleep, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, I'm just about. I was, I was wondering if Have I could possibly to lie down with the with the <laughs> headphones on. Go and stare up at the ceiling and just drift off. Yeah. Uh, I was sitting next to a guy who fell asleep yesterday. I'll tell you what is interesting for me: uh, cakes. Uh, what? We have to find the right cake for Zora's birthday. The right cake? We have to, we have to find that's like your, a... That's uh, your job, because like you're good at that. A cat cake or something. What? A cat cake. What? You, what, you fucking what? Well, she loves cats. Yeah, but you can't make a cake, a cake out of one. Well, not out of one, but you can <laughs> make one that looks like one. I said Kate instead of cake. <laughs> and, then it could just, and then you could just chop the cat up and eat it. What? You can't eat cats for birthdays? You could. What? Theoretically, if you knew how to make one. A cat? Yeah. You get two cats. <laughs> yeah. That's a <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have kittens. <laughs> a cat cake or something. What? Well, the thing is that she wanted a polar bear cake, but what? then she changed her... Well, I knew how to make one, right? It was extremely easy, actually. But then she changed her... Uh, oh, my God. Her mind. What's that? Oh. But then she changed her mind and decided she wants a polar bear. Oh my, it's an elephant. Those are, those are elephants. Those are not cows. Those or are a elephants. rhino or something. Look like a bloody rhino. That would be a good joke to play. Put a giant, go out in the middle of the night, strap a giant horn on one of their heads. <laughs> <laughs> they have. They ha <laughs> I think you've just broken the bed. I threw my phone off the bed. Uh, they have giant horns. They're cows. You have to strap one on here. <laughs> <laughs> and then he strapped Not all cows have horns. Cow. That's a big title. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> they don't. So the ones that don't, you should strap a horn in the middle of their head. Make them look like a unicorn. It Can you imagine a unicorn cow? They should be called uni horns, not unicorns. Why not? What? Why? <laughs> Did she just like ask two opposite questions? <laughs> I have been bamboozled. You got me. I have no idea how to answer that at all. I do not know what to say. Okay. Anyway, unicorn cows. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uni idea. uni house. You should like you should like get one of those one of those Highland coos. 
Yeah. <laughs> and put and put unicorn horn on them. <laughs> That'd be funny. Highland Coo, is that when all the cows take over government? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 yeah. Excellent. Can you imagine Excellent. Highland coups sitting in the government? There were quite a f- few the last time I was at um, <laughs> one of those meetings, actually. And anyway, <sighs> that's. <coughs> They're so cute, though. What? They're so cute. 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 Yes. No, cute. Cute means small, fluffy, and cuddly. You would not want one of those in your bed. It doesn't have to be small. They are fluffy and cuddly. Are they? Cows <laughs> are not fucking fluffy. Yes, they are. No, <laughs> the Highland coos are fluffy. They're not. They're they're dready. They're dready. not <laughs> fluffy at all. They're dready. <gasps> they're Highland. cute. The, the, they're not. They, they 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 turn their head from left to right and they spear you. I mean, that's not cute. Take your eye out with one of those giant horns. Okay, okay. Well, I'm using this podcast. If anybody has has gone as far as here, <laughs> still listening to, tell to the this tale. nonsense, right? I dare you to write a comment. Can you like comment on podcasts? Um, that's that's what a great question. You know, I don't think there's a general forum for for commenting on on the podcast. Cause That's such a shame. I mean, how can you how can you like react to it? How um, can people let me know? I mean, if 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 I was to release a poll, right? If, if I want to get poll, public, it's called a poll, not the poll. Poll. That's what I said. I said poll. If I want public opinion, you know, <laughs> on the on on the topic of Highland coups, how do I get it? You know, I want people to let me know if they think Highland cows are 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 cute or not. Uh, okay, number one, you could uh, embed your podcast in a blog and have a discussion at the bottom. I'm of the already blog. in bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's very true. So uh, I have already embedded my podcast. <laughs> uh, well, there's no argument there. There you go. Uh, so that's it. <laughs> that's, <laughs> your quest, that's your question answered, no? Thanks. Thanks. There I've embedded my podcast. You listen to it in bed. <laughs> or you create it in bed or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Right? Or both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, create and consume. Um, uh, how, how else? I'm oh, not sure. Th- there are odd things you can do on different podcast platforms to mm-hmm. react and there's like little buttons you can press and things and there's a some some have an applause button oh sorry yeah i know i a- know a- oh if you like something applause is a one word okay <laughs> what did you think i said i thought you said uh applause it's like what's applause <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take my applause. It would be a good word. It should exist. <laughs> it, it, here's, it my, here's my applause. Would you like some? Pla- plausible. Hmm. Right, so applause must exist. <laughs> because plausible, you've got able as uh, the, uh, the suffix, right? Mm-hmm. So you can't have a word with a suffix without having a word. Well, I always thought, as a foreign, like foreign-speaking person, <laughs> that pause, pausable, what uh, developed from pleasable. Yeah, well, that's probably not the case. Probably not, but I always thought it might be. Yeah, well, it's like saying that you know. Uh, I hate how this cable gets stuck in my neck crack. You can won't. I, do you think I could just do that? It's on the side. Cause it what? Just, it gets stuck here. In Do you know what bugged me yesterday? Crease. Uh, neck crease. What would you call it? I don't know. But you've obviously got a <laughs> neck crack that nobody else has discovered yet. So um. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want anybody discovering my neck crack. <laughs> no, not, not one of the presenters yesterday was able to... Um, 
<laughs> they had to when they were wired up with the um, with the the, the 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 mic that you know sits over the ears so that people's hands f- hands are free. Uh-huh. Not one of the presenters was able to uh, put the cable behind their back. They all had it going down the front. Able to put the cable. Yes, yeah, because it, it's part of the you know professional presentation where you you have the cable going down your back and not round your front because if someone's taking a picture of you, you've got this dangly cable down the front. It just doesn't look nice. Yeah, well, I don't think that's exactly the most important thing about the presentation. Absolutely, it's not the most important thing. But if you spent like uh, uh, money on dressing up and wearing a suit and having nice shoes and getting them all shiny and polished and wearing a shirt and a tie and trimming your beard and doing your hair and doing all the other things that make you look nice on the stage, the least thing you can do is, is put the fucking cable down your back instead of down your front because people are going to be filming you and taking photographs of you. So so it, it's the minimum requirement for that kind of thing. I don't spend money trimming my beard. You, I'm not fucking talking about <laughs> you because nobody <laughs> wants to listen to you except me. So <laughs> Why the hell do you put me on this podcast then? Um, because I like listening to what you have to say. It's usually sensible, rational, logical. Uh, uh, it's a counterfoil to uh, <laughs> the way that I see things. To the tinfoil. <laughs> what? What's a counterfoil? Um, it's like you've got foil and you've got counterfoil. No, oh, st- stop it. Um, Counterfoil is um, fencing terminology. Oh, right. Right. Okay. It's a, a paré and repost. Did, does that blow in your mind? You know, fencing is a really weird word as well. What are you talking about? Because you confuse it with building a fence. Well, what the hell does fencing have to do with fences? Nothing. Does it have to do with to do with Sport, defenses nothing. and offenses? Yes, I guess it does. There we go. You've s- you've answered the question. Huh. You're not happy with your own answer. Oh, it's still confusing. Why? Because it should be called sword fighting. Um. Or hitting each other with sticks or something. Yeah, well, that international sport, hitting each other with sticks <laughs> or something, right. <laughs> I'm going to the Olympics this year. Oh, which activity? Hitting each other with sticks or something. Oh, ug, ug. <laughs> That's crammed. Good luck. Why, thank you. <laughs> That's great. I'm really well, good at hitting each other with sticks. <laughs> and here he comes. He's got a stick out. He's... <laughs> Wielding it quite viciously. There! Oh, and he's down! That's it. He's out. Uh, or something. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, like That'd be really good. A chi- Finally. Any, anything, a chair. Finally, yeah. the Olympic Games would be entertaining. Well, it's a <laughs> bar fights. They could have that in the Olympic Games. A what? A bar fight. A bar fight. Yeah. Yeah, you can have like a ring, right? Like for boxing. You have like four chairs on the corners and uh, a table in the middle, uh, a couple of cues for pool. Um, what else? What else can you use? A pitcher. <laughs> bottles, bottles. Yeah, I some bottles. Bottles. Yeah. Um, there you go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> A good sport. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous sports. Do fucking better than walking. That's not a fucking sport. Well, people need to get their act together. Have you seen those walkers? Shortbread. And they don't mean the shortbread. <laughs> 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 I mean the people who do walking. I mean they're, they're pretty <laughs> fit. The speed. Of walking. course, walking. Of th- anyone who does a lot of walking is going to be fit. It's not related to the. The uh, speed walking, what like slow, like slow running? Mm, no, because that's what it is. It's not. It is. It's speed not. walking is slow running. It's speed. It, when you're walking, you always have to have one foot on the ground. When you're running, you can be all off the ground. 
that's flying. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's what <laughs> you do when you're running. <laughs> 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 it is. Running is like a well, series running of... Well, is flying. It's not. Running is like a series of little flights. <laughs> I just hit my head off the wall and the light. <laughs> but it is. Think about it. You take off, the, you take off the ground and then you land He's again. flying now. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a, like a series of lots of little flights. Well, they called it the Flying Scotsman because it went through the air. Um, oh. no. <laughs> what? It is. But when you're <laughs> speed walking, you always have to have like one, one foot glued to the ground. A little flight. Yes. That's so funny. Yes. And so ridiculous. But and that's so what it true. is. But to think about it. Think about it. When you're running, you always, you always push yourself off the ground with one foot and then you fly through the air and then you land with the other foot and then you do the same what? thing again. What? When you run. You're not a bird. You push yourself <laughs> off the ground and then you fly through the air and then you land on the other foot and then you push yourself off the ground again and then you fly through the air and then you land on the other foot. It's a series of little flights. I am not taking any physical education instruction from you. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. What a, what a ridiculous way to describe a normal activity. I had a friend... Who used to fly. ...in high school. And I remember that because... <laughs> <laughs> he was so fast. His feet <laughs> never touched the ground, ever. <laughs> He could run on water. He was really, really useless when it came to academic, ac ac academical education. I don't know how he ever got there, actually, because what to school? He was. The um, government forces everyone to go. No, there. because I went to high school where you're supposed to have like very, very clever mm. people going there, right? And I think he was a bit like me, uh, the the non-learner type, you know, where you've got a kid. You've got a kid that reads books and is and is clever when they're a little kid, but then when they get to a place where you're supposed to actually sit down and 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 study and and you know get a lot of information in and then regurgitate it and then move on, he was not good at that. You know, he's intelligent and he could remember regurgitation, things, but he couldn't That's regurgitate facts, especially when he didn't think it was interesting. He just you know, I tried to teach him literature uh, because he was about to uh, flunk, you know, and repeat the year. And he did in the end. I didn't succeed because it was so boring to him that he just couldn't remember it for the love of anyone. Anyway, um, so he was like completely useless in all of the subjects, <laughs> most of the subjects. Uh but he was really good at running, you know, and he could like run so fast and and he enjoyed it a lot. And I hated running because I always felt like I was dying, <laughs> you know, when you like your throat is on fire and, and, y and your chest is on fire and, and you can't breathe. And, and <laughs> it's like I hated running. I hated it. You just described smoking, I think. And <laughs> <laughs> I think you've confused those two activities. It's like we we we'd have this we'd have this thing that was called twelve minute run, right? And you had to do the twelve minute run in eight minutes. And and die. <laughs> I ran for like three minutes and I was dead. I f I finished the twelve minute run walking and I was like, oh, fuck this, it's terrible. It's because you were unfit. I was so unfit. It's unbelievable. And. uh he was like, I love running because I feel like I'm flying. And I remember him telling me that because he looked like he was flying when he was running. And he was just <laughs> running. He's like, I just feel like I'm flying. You know, everything around you is just whizzing past and the wind and you, can, you can't think about anything. And you can, just, you can just feel the wind and just run through the air. And I was like, wow, that's cool. Anyway, yeah. So running is like flying. Um, but if I said that flying is like running, would that make sense? Well, it is for birds, because they can't really run very well. Birds so can't fly. run very well. 
Oh. Run, run pretty well yesterday. Well, unless I, you're ostrich. But there's an example. Unless you're an ostrich or an emu, you can't really run very well when you're a bird. You can, you can fly, though. I don't know. Birds seem to run pretty fast. Well, ostrich run faster than you. Ostriches need to run because they can't fly. But if you can fly, you can't run. It's funny because, except for penguins who swim, <laughs> the birds who can't fly are usually quite good runners. Like chickens. <laughs> chickens are pretty fast. Did you ever try to catch a chicken? Not recently. Mm, it's quite difficult. They dodge. <laughs> Chickens are dodgers. Yeah, they get they're really good at dodging. <coughs> Jammy little bastards. Yeah. Jammy little bastards. <laughs> I have to go to the loo. What's uh, no, thank you for sharing that with me. <laughs> uh, um It's okay I'm being uh, authentic. It's not what you want. Uh authenticity is very important. There you go. Uh um yes. <laughs> yes. There you go. Yes, yes, says me. Um well we can't we can we can we, we can't. We just can't. Okay. We then. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. I'll hold it. <laughs> <laughs> can you hold it like Will and just like be manic and <laughs> <laughs> pretend to be the flash. No, no. I can't do that. Pretend I can't to be moving can't super, be super fast. My gosh. Mm. Well, let's see if he's moving super fast today in football. Um, uh, he enjoys it. I mean, that's what's most important. Yeah. Um, even if the other players get frustrated with him. There's a tournament next weekend, is that right? Yes. Okay. The game is on, which which made me think about how am I going to do my gym next week if the game is on, because you're going to be away with Will. Uh -huh. I could we, could, we could do it like, you know, you could like come back from the gym and if we're not sick and tired of being in the library, you could you could hang around in the library with the kids for a half an hour. Well, that's after I come back. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be later. Uh -huh. Well, we don't oh, even know what time see. it's on, but I mm. imagine it's going to be the usual. Mm -hmm. uh, we shall see. Are there any other events happening this weekend? This weekend? So like today? This tomorrow. weekend. This weekend. Um, like um, today and tomorrow. I'm working a lot. You should go shopping after after the, the football today because I didn't get to go shopping with your dad and um, there were things I needed to get for uh, uh, sorry for Zora's cake and um, you know the birthday. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. are we gonna get Zora for birthday? Uh, her birthday's like in five days or something. I, I don't have anything for her. Um. It's terrible. I don't know. We'll come up with something. <laughs> she did some nice pictures yesterday. Maybe some art stuff. I'm already doing art stuff with her this weekend. Okay. I um, promised her to uh, do to take her painting. Um. Oh, we'll think of something. Okay. There'll be something. Maybe yes, give her a writing lesson or something. Yes, yeah? she is getting that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh. She's getting a riding lesson and she's getting a play barn outing. But uh, we need to give it a Prezi as well. Mm. Something that she's going to love. And I know she what she would love, but I don't... I just what? I what? Don't what would she love? I don't want to give her another stuffed toy. <laughs> well, they had those big My Little Ponies and the, the stuffed My Little Ponies in TK Maxx the other day. Uh -huh. That she was all hyper about. Pinky Pie, Rainbow Dash, or whatever it was called. <laughs> they, they, they really have those names. I don't Pinkie know. Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's a bit bizarre. So she's she's quite. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm I know for a fact that she would be like over the moon with those. But I wanted something more. I don't know. Something more. Something. I don't know. Educational. 
But then I did give Will the sword, which was not really very educational either, so... Mm -hmm. Maybe we should just F education. <coughs> what, fail? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. I don't know, we'll, we'll come up with something. There'll be something, there's still time. There's a um, turtle. You should give her a turtle. A pet. You should give her a... Oh, God, she would be so happy, can you imagine? If we give her a turtle in a box, <laughs> wherever the turtles live in, she'd be so happy. I know you're not supposed to, like, like give yeah. pets for presents, but... Anyway. Jazz would probably skewer the fucker. No, she wouldn't. If she, if we, Jasmine is quite intelligent. If we explain to her that she can't skewer the fucker, <laughs> she'll be alright. <laughs> you know. I think, I think you know, it would have the opposite effect. I think it might actually teach her to be a bit more gentle about things. You know. And turtles got hard shell. So I don't know anything. Do you know anything about turtles? I don't know anything about turtles at all. Are you talking turtle or tortoise? Are turtles in water and tortoises on land? Isn't that how it works? The land one. I mean, the land thing. It's a tortoise. Is it? I believe, and I could be wrong. I think that I thought that turtles were in water. No, I mean the I mean the land, the land thing that you can put in the, do the garden on the grass and let it walk around. And aren't they really grass? difficult to care for because they're supposed to live for like a hundred years or something? Or is that only the no, big ones? I don't know. I don't know anything about turtles. It's only the giant turtles that live for a hundred years. We'll get a giant giant one then. <laughs> you can't have a giant turtle. Um. No, no, they did the little one. The, the, uh, the, my friend used to have a turtle, and it was they, don't that they, don't big. They, where do you keep them? Don't they shit everywhere? I it mean, was isn't like it a hygiene problem? Big. What do they eat? What do they read? And you keep it in a, she had like a aquarium or terrarium or whatever box, whatever glass box. Well, you don't want to put a tortoise in fucking water for a start. You don't want to keep the tortoise in water. Well, no, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> in an aquarium. Just like drop it in there and watch it sink. No, 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 no. You can even, either either you can have the little water turtles. Uh, you co we've got an aquarium and you've got a little bit of water in it. And then yeah, we don't have land. that. And that's, that's, ex that's expensive and complicated. <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing. That you, when you have a turtle, you need a box for it. Yeah, what happens if, if, what happens if, like we move or whatever. What are we gonna do with the turtle? Yeah, obviously, we'll take, we'll take it. it obviously, we we'll take it with us. But mm. doesn't that complicate things? Having the turtle. Look, I'm not. I'm not completely against the idea. I'm just thinking about the practicalities of it. It complicates things. Everything complicates things. Because is, isn't it going to be something where like you're just going to have the turtle? F and, and don't turtles have diseases and they that get doesn't sick? Doesn't, and you're doesn't, doesn't have any kid complicate things? Don't, don't kids get diseases and stuff? You know. <laughs> no, but I'm look. I'm just inquiring because I don't know. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just like yes, saying I, I want well to know. Yes, obviously, when you've got turtle, you have to take care of it. Is she going to be able to take care of it? Ever? Is, she, is is her whole life going to become turtle obsessed? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Probably. Maybe she, should, maybe she should just have a goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she, maybe she should get one of those cows. Yeah, nobody would notice, right? I mean, there's so many of them. Yeah, we'd notice. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's so big. Can we not just uh, lasso one of the pheasants? Can we just buy her a steak? <laughs> Yeah, pheasants, that'd be fun. Um, well, there aren't really any pets that are relatively easy to keep. I mean, it, it, it doesn't work like that. Cats are, but you die. Yeah, well, I'm allergic, so that that's mm -hmm. out. Cats, rabbits, Cats horses, bears, whatever. Bears, that's an idea. Panda bear. <laughs> uh, that I don't know that... No, there's, just, there's ah. I don't know. It would kind of be interesting to have the turtle as a pet, but I could just see that consuming. Every, I don't know. I mean, is 
it's not exactly one of those happy jolly pets, is it? I mean, it's just it's kind of it's just, it's, it's kind of slow, right? <laughs> yes. You know, it strikes me as a as a good pet for. I mean, if she's got like Babka and Jedko, why does she need a turtle? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm, like, I'm persuade me that it it's a good idea. I'm not going to persuade you by anything. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. I'm just thinking out loud here. Well, is there is there like a big pet shop we can go to and have a look at all the pets? I don't know. No, there must be there, look, there one must of those be. one of those big stores. There's like a pet world <laughs> and a pet world where the the Asda is and and the Matalan and what what not, you know where. Well, we'll go there then, won't we? We'll okay. go to Pet World and have a look. And we could talk to the owner, owner to the person who's there about what it takes. I mean, to where do does the turtle, turtle live? Does it live in a box with straw, or what do you what do you do? Does no straw. I, I don't know. I I would imagine more like rocks and. Bo and bo uh, box with rocks. Box of rocks. We already have that. <laughs> <laughs> Got a bed with rocks. Yeah. Bedrock. <laughs> Bedrock. Uh, funny. Almost. <laughs> um, um, yeah, we could do that. We could... Um, we could, like, talk about it. Well, we just go and see what's there. Because you can't really... I mean, you can't really mail order a tortoise, can you? <laughs> don't think so. You know, can you get them on Amazon? You probably can. I don't know how they'd send it, though. Would they drop it in by drone or... We could uh, <laughs> we find a crab on the beach, but all the crabs we found so far were dead. <laughs> well, they weren't really. They were like parts of crabs. Yeah, well, yeah, they were. They I don't think a crab is a good pet, anyway. No, probably not. Um, you probably can't cuddle it or anything. Can you cuddle a tortoise? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah. Tortoises are great because they don't bite, right? How do they eat? Oh, they're so funny. They've got this, this beak type thing. What? Mouth. Yeah, they've got like a hard mouth, right? They don't have teeth, but they've got the What, do, what do they eat? They the eat mouth leaves. is hard. And what they eat they leaves. Eat? They eat leaves. And they take small, and they're so slow, they take bites of the leaves. And it's just so funny when they do that. They're so, their face is so funny when they eat. They're like, like this, like this. They go like, home, chew, 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 home. And it's just really cute. Eating tortoise. I've just got a really picture cute. of Babka in my head. When you do that. Anyway. Babka's a bit more messy when she eats. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the tor tortoises are pretty neat, actually. They don't make much mess. They do poop. You want one, don't you? <laughs> what? You want, you want a tortoise. I, d I don't really... Well, as you said... It would complicate things slightly, but not too much. I don't think. All three kids would be the would then become turtle tortoise, whatever the fuck it is, obsessed. Oh, for about two days. <laughs> no, no, no. Zora would just like be all in. She'd be like, she would eat, because sleep, she loves she eats, loves animals. Eat, sleep. Well, that's the breathe. thing, though, that she just loves all animals. You know. Will can't be arsed, but Zora's like animal obsessed. So yeah, I'm sort of. Would be kind of better than giving her a fucking stuffed dog again. Right. I'll tell you what. We'll go to the big pet place, right? We'll have a look. If they've got one, we'll talk. We'll talk to somebody person, about it. What it takes, yeah. Because it might be super expensive, though. It might be like. 50 euros or something. Well, look, the way I see it, right, is 50 euros might be expensive as like a, a one-off purchase, but if it brings some joy every day for like, say, f let's take a silly example, like, say, joy every day for 50 days, that's like one euro a day. I mean, that's nothing, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. So if you, if you look at it And hopefully we'll live longer than 50 days. <laughs> Well, you don't know, but look, um, usually before you buy a pet, you have to study 
the pet? You have to study to be able to realize if the pet is healthy when you buy it because a lot of pets that are sold in pet shops are not healthy, right? Yeah. They're sick. Um, and I, I know this from the, the, the lizards that I owned in the past, yeah? Mm -hmm. You go into a shop and you look at the lizard and it looks perfectly healthy, but you go away and study what it means to to have a healthy lizard and what you should look for when you're buying a healthy lizard. And you go back to the pet shop and you look at that lizard, you start to see things mm -hmm. that you never saw the first time. Mm -hmm. You're like, ooh, that claw's a little bit bent. Ooh, that foot doesn't look like it's in the right position. Oh, and I don't mean on top of its head, okay? <laughs> right? Oh, I thought it was just doing yoga. Oh, look, look I'll tell you, give you an example. Like, it's very easy for, like, them to be missing a claw or something on one of their feet. Yeah, but you don't notice it when you look at it the first time because everything is new. I would notice a lizard no, you wouldn't. missing you a foot. You, you, not a foot, a claw, you spaz. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right? And, and you wouldn't notice it the first time, yeah? Or even, um, you know, a certain, a cut, certain shade of color means it's healthy and a certain shade of color means it's unhealthy. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what to look for in the healthy animal, you're quite possibly buying a sick animal. I get it, I get it. So you, you, you have to be, you know, it's like f from a distance all horses look great, right? You know, it's only when you get up close to them you get to see if they're groomed well and, you know, they're, they're kept oh well and everything. Yes. And, um, oh, I think most fish that are sold, in, or a lot of fish that are sold in like pet shops, you know, they, they die within a week or a couple of weeks or even a couple of days, right? Mine never did. Died? No, mine never died. Are they still alive? <laughs> they did they live forever. But they didn't die right after I bought them. Well, it was just a little bit after you bought them. <laughs> no, it was long after I bought them. When they were old and grey and... and uh, Right. Uh, okay, I'm not. I'm not against the idea. It should be explored, um, but it's going to mean like watching a lot of YouTube videos on what is a healthy animal. Yes. Yes. You all right there? What actually happened? What are you doing? I was looking you for going? my phone, but I don't know what actually happened. Don't. Go. Oh, there it is. What are you doing? Get off the floor. I just wanted to make sure it's not broken or anything. The only thing that's going to break it is you playing with it. Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. Yes. Your mic has moved. Uh, Don't swallow it. That's because my ears are falling off again. That's how I common, know that. Common problem. That's that's how I know that we've been doing this for quite a while. Look, my ears are killing me. Oh, stop complaining. Um, it's time to go and um, do the morning stuff and mm -hmm. get everything ready for the kids to go and do their uh, sport sporty activities. Yay, sporty activities. Yoo-hoo. And then we do all the stuff today. When we come back from all those things, then I have to do my exercise activities. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I have to batten down the hatches and do my emails and contact stuff and um, give feedback to all my clients from last week and ah, uh, the whole myriad of that sounds so of daunting of, of tasks I hate doing that I hate, hate doing the, well, the that, that well you know, like invoicing and sending it out and doing that shit. It's just like, oh. Well, it's, it's the, it's the follow-ups, right? Uh -huh. It's the follow-ups to the sessions that uh, really oh. do drag okay. a little bit because there are obviously things that need to be done, which are not, you know, the, the tasks themselves are not that complicated. Mm. But the processes involved in, in thinking related to it all have to be perfect and that's the killer. I've got I've got I've got a million little translations that I have to invoice because you know, I do a translation for like like a tenor and I don't invoice it because I can't be freaking bothered. Because what the fuck's the point? And then I do more and then I do more and then I do more and then I just put it all in one invoice, right? 
So I'm in a stage where I have to go back and make invoices for all those little bits and pieces that I've done. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, oh, I really don't want to do that. I want them to pay me, <laughs> but I really don't like the invoicing procedures involved. Look, there's a light blue sky out there. Golden fields. No, um, not light um, blue, that's grey. What? It's not light blue, that's grey. I can see the bolding green. How weird is that? Right. That's green. It's time to end. Oh, yes, please. Okay. Say bye. I do enjoy this, but not when my ears are falling off. Bye. Say bye to the people. Bye you sound like a people. rabbit. Well. My ears are falling off. They are. Bye, people. Do the done. Gone.